Dear folks, uh, welcome to Ace American. This is the group discussion and take your page number 163 to 168. The topic is the 40th topic, government run general hospitals or private run general uh, private run hospitals which provides a uh, better service for the people. This is the topic. Uh, dear students, it, the happiness or the richness of a country does not depend upon the material alone. It is the happiness quotient of the people, it is the health quotient of the people, how good they are in health, how good they are maintaining the happiness. It all counts uh, to say the country is good or bad and also it all depends upon the family. Health wise how good they are, uh, it is not only the income they get, how healthy the people are, it also shows how, how the family is uh, quite successful. So, here the topic here is whether it is government run hospital or private run hospital. Presently, the government of India has uh, given a law stating that people have the right for medical treatment. Tamil Nadu government also has provided for quite long time. In fact, last uh, DMK government, they have provided free medical insurance scheme. And presently, J. Lalitha government also has provided not only state governments, central governments as also, central government also has provided the medical, free medical treatment for the people uh, who are below and uh, middle and of course, for every people it is covering. So, many private hospitals and private companies we see, they provide medical facilities and uh, insurance covers also. So, now the first point here is, so you have to take part in this group discussion with the points below and more points also are there, I will be telling you one by one. 50 percent of people in India and the remaining 50 percent of people in India uh, belong to middle class and upper middle class. So, totally you take India total population, 50 is middle class and 50 is above middle class. The 50 percent below poverty line people go for general hospital. The 50 percent of the people who are living below poverty line, they go to government hospital and the remaining 50 percent go to uh, that is middle and upper middle class people go to private hospital. You take 50 percent below poverty line and 50 percent the people who are uh, middle class, upper middle class and uh, rich people, they go to private hospitals. Private hospitals provide latest technologies and facilities. So, people go to private hospital. There is a craze to private hospital because private hospitals, they provide the latest uh, technology for uh, curing the disease. So, with this, this is the one point, this is for private uh, hospitals. So, second point is the general hospitals, GH, generally it is called GH, general hospital are un unhygienic, it is not kept clean, the sanitation is not very bad, unhygienic. Specialist doctors absent themselves from their duty. So, specialist doctors, they are often, they absent themselves and they do go and take care of their, hospi their hospitals. Proper medicines and equipments not available in general hospitals, this is the most uh, common complaint. High corruption amongst the hospital staff, government hospital staff, if you go, uh, there is certain uh, amount of money you have to pay. For example, you want to, go, uh, for the delivery, you have to pay some amount for some operation, some medicines, you have to keep on paying some amount to the staff are common. So, people prefer private hospital. This is one reason why people generally, they do not like to go in for a government hospital, they like to go for a private hospital. The third point is, commercialization of hospital means the hospital provide good hospitality with reasonable prices. Because of this, we find medical tourism happening in India. See my dear friends, private hospital, it is a commercialization. What do you mean by commercialization? One hospital is ready to give a treatment for 1 lakh, the other hospital is ready to give a treatment for 80,000. So, profit oriented is like a business. So, many foreign people come to India, in fact, even from US they come. One heart surgery in US, it, I think it comes to around 26 lakhs, but same in Apollo hospital or in Chennai, some hospital they charge only 2.5 lakh, nearly 10 times it is cheaper. We can find from Gulf countries people coming here, African com countries coming to India. So, this is one other point, commercialization of uh, hospitals. Fourth point is, private hospitals gives extraordinary royal treatment to the patients. Uh, 
of course, it is true, isn't it? Government hospitals, they are not bothered about the patient, but in private hospital, you find the nurses, their hospitality is very good. Their approach is very warm. So, they find very homely, the patients find very comfortable in private hospitals. So, this is one point we can say against the government hospitals. Then uh, fifth point, some, some companies and private hospitals provide medical insurance cover and general public uh, to the general public for a low rate. This helps everyone irrespective whether he is rich or poor to avail these medical facilities. So, my dear friends, uh, Star Insurance Company, Apollo Insurance, you find many private insurance uh, companies, they provide medical cover. You pay 15,000 rupees per annum. You can avail medical facilities for 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs also. So, the companies are ready to bear the cost. This is uh, provided in private hospitals. So, people generally prefer these private hospitals because of the uh, of the medical insurance uh, cover. See, one other problem here is uh, the cost of uh, medical, medical equipments are very costly. So, what do they do? Uh, the private companies, they purchase these equipments at a very high cost and they provide a safe and secured treatment for the people. So, one machine may cost uh, five, uh, 5 crores or 6 crores. The private hospitals are ready to invest the money. Second is, the government hospitals are functioning in a dilapidated buildings. What do you mean by dilapidated buildings? Very bad buildings. You see in, uh, you go outer Chennai and you see government hospitals. The hospitals are in a very bad state. The building is very bad. So, it does not attract the patients. The corporate hospitals, you see the private hospitals in towns and villages, they are more comfortable. The building is very good and they provide the best treatment for the patients. Next point is, the most of the doctors, they want to amass wealth. Amass wealth means what? They want to earn money. The government uh, doctors, even though they get a good salary from the government, they ask their patients to come to their private clinic for the treatment. This is one other drawback. So, for and they charge a good amount of money. This is one other drawback for the government hospital. Government hospital doctors, they ask the patients to come to their private clinic and they charge extra amount for the treatment. So, next, uh, the Tamil Nadu government has brought a new law covering almost all the citizens in Tamil Nadu under the free medical claim policy. Like uh, presently, the government is providing medical monetary facilities for 2.5 lakh for nearly 250 diseases where the treatment can be done in private hospital at free of cost. So, the Tamil Nadu government has brought a free medical scheme whereby for 250 diseases, you can pay a small amount or government takes care of that amount, premium amount also. So, each family member, they can avail their, their medical treatment up to the cost of 2.5 lakh. So, this is the points which are against the government uh, hospital. So, now coming here, <coughs> uh, this is uh, this, this is point for government hospital is bad and private hospital is good. Here what we are going to say is government hospital is good. The government hospital get a lot of people for treatment because they charge very less and sometimes they do not charge any amount at all. 100 percent free. Now, you want to go to private hospital, you have to take at least 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees. But in private, uh, in a government hospital, sometimes no, nothing, not even a single paise. You go to Rajiv Gandhi hospital, you go for child hospital, government hospital, no paise, nothing you need to spend. So, people prefer to go to government hospital. <coughs> the government hospital cover many rural and remote areas to serve the people. But the private hospitals are commercialized and they limit their services in urban areas. See, private hospitals, they want to make money. They do not like to go to serve, go and serve in some villages, rural areas. It is the government which are running their hospitals in very remote area, in fact, in hilly area. Even they are not bothered about the profit. So, government hospital is better. That is what the point is here. And third point, the uh, government hospital have some of the finest and specialist doctors who come from government medical college where merit gets the doctors a seat in government medical colleges. In private hospital, we find doctors coming from private colleges. 
where they give donations and study without any merit. Dear students, to get inside a medical college that is the MGR Medical College uh, University, uh, you should have a cutoff of 199 and above, 198 and above. Without that, you cannot get admission. But in private hospital, uh, any student who is ready to give a donation of 50 lakhs or 60 lakhs, he can get an admission in a medical college. So, yes, his mind is not prepared for the medical. He is, for, he is paying the money either because of his dad's compulsion or because of some other circumstances, he is paying money and getting a seat. So, the fellow who is finishing from the medical college, immediately he gets a job in a government medical college. So, his talents are good. So, his, uh, his quality of uh, treatment is good. So, that is one other point for the government doctors who are good in their area of treatment. Fourth point, point is for heart surgeries, kidney, liver transplantation. The private hospital charge in lakhs which the middle class people or the lower middle class people cannot afford. Government general hospitals provide these services at free of a cost, free of cost. One auto driver, one rickshaw wala or one fellow who is selling vegetables in the street. How can he give to a private hospital 5 lakhs or 6 lakhs for kidney transplant and, uh, transplant and heart transplant? It is only the government hospital which provide free of cost. So, that is one of the point for government hospital is better. Fifth point, some private hospitals create unnecessary fear, fear among the patients and make them to undergo major surgeries for small alignments. So, what is the one of the point here is, uh, see you go to a private hospital, what do they do? They ask you to take some tests. The tests alone will cost you 3,000, 4,000. Then after that, they purposefully may be saying that some problem is there in liver, some problem is there in kidney, some problem is there. So, you have to get a treatment and you must pay some amount of money. To get the money, unnecessarily they create fear among the people and they take the money off. That is one thing is very bad in private hospital, which we cannot rely on the private hospitals. So, this is the point here, fifth point. And sixth point, commercialization of health plays with the life of the people. The services will be based on money, power alone. People feel that if we have more money, then we will get treatment. So, government should have a check on these private hospitals and they should fix a rate for every treatment. See, commercialization means what? If we have more money, we get better treatment. That mentality has gone inside the mind of the people. So, that mentality should be eradicated. So, the government should have a check on the private hospital, what they are doing. What are they doing? So, next seventh point is, see in the private hospitals, what do they do is, to buy equipments, they buy the equipments for crores and crores of rupees and they keep it in the hospital. They have to pay the interest to the bank. For that, what they do? They charge the amount to the patients. This is one other thing. So, they try to take the money out of the patients. The private hospital's motive is 100 percent, it is money because it is not, it has to pay the money to the banks. That is one other point. Here in the government hospital, what is the one other plus point here is the free polio drops, the vaccination given for various diseases like swine flu done only by the government hospitals and not in the private hospitals. So, all the treatments which is, uh, which is really bothering the people like uh, swine flu and polio drops, it is given by the government hospitals and not the private hospitals. So, next point is Indian government should start various hospital like AIMS. In India, which is the best hospital, it is All India Institute of Medical Science there in Delhi, AIMS it is called. So, one like AIMS is not enough for a country like India. Every state in India should have a hospital like AIMS. Uh, presently, the secretary, secretary building, Jailalitha, the chief minister of Tamil Nadu, she has uh, said that it is to be converted to a hospital and a hospital to the standard of AIMS. So, that we have to welcome. Next, the tenth point is, in earlier days, doctors are considered to be gods. Before 15 years, 20 years, the doctor is considered to be a god. The patient prays only to doctor, only after that he prays to God. That was the scene here. But now, what happens? The doctors are called money monkeys. They are called 
money monkeys they have to sell their land sell their jewels sell their property only then they can get a treatment in a private hospital so all these fellows doctors are called money monkeys because they cheat the patients and take the money from them the government should uh, should punish these money monkeys who are killing the lives of the patients. So, this is uh, one other point here which what you have to do. So, the conclusion according to me is the government should ban liquor consum consumption. See, most of the diseases are caused because of consuming liquor. Taskmark government has opened, people start drinking, liver is gone, kidney is gone. Tobacco consumption, people, government sells cigarettes, government sells uh, all masalas. So, what happened? It is the heart and lungs are getting spoiled. So, the government should cancel all this, um, uh, all this, uh, what is that, uh, liquor and uh, uh, liquor consumption and um, uh, tobacco consumption. They should ban. <clears throat> most of the consumption, most of the disease are caused by these two factors. The government should make it a compulsion that the doctor should serve in villages for minimum of two years before they start their medical practice. After finishing their MBBS or MS, they should go to a village and do the service because all the MBBS course which they are studying, it is the taxpayers money because he pays only 20,000 or 30,000 per annum. But uh, the cost of his education is nearly 50 lakhs the taxpayer is paying is money. So, these people should go to the village and serve the people. So, unlike in US, we do not find helicopter landing in hospitals. None in Chennai, we do not have for any emergency condition, we do not have any helicopter coming straight away to the hospital and landing. So, that type of uh, landing should be provided in hospitals. There are thousands of fake doctors who, uh, who practice as medical practitioners, they should be arrested. They put their name MBBS. But basically, they are not even qualified for that. They wrongly, they cheat the people. So, this unqualified people should be punished. The unqualified people who say they are doctors, they should be punished. Next point is, the government should punish the pharmaceutical companies which give money, gifts and foreign package to, to the doctors. These are like bribes to the doctors who prescribe the costly medicines of the company to the patients. So, you go to a doctor, immediately he gives a lot of medicine and that medical company gives the doctor a commission. That our medical company gives the doctor a tour package. The medical company also gives certain bonus, some percentage. So, these pharmaceutical companies who give bribe and these doctors who get the bribe should be punished severely. The last point here, the conclusion point is the government should have a check on medical shops which sell all the expired medicines to the customers. The, in the medical shop you go there, there will be medicines. It is out of date medicine. If you can take that medicine, you will get the disease more, the se disease severity will be more. So, the government should check the government, uh, uh, the medical shops where the medicines are, whether it is outdated or whether it is uh, online. So, these are the points which you have to say and start the discussion. Arasanga Marutuva Manakal Sirandada, Tanya Marutuva Manakal Sirandada in Buddhadan in the Kutu Vivada Tile in Adepara Kudia Kutu Vivadam. You put it in the Idalavandu Patina, still a points of Pathan Government Hospital than Serandadane. In the Pakam Patina, in the Pakamata private hospital than Serandan Patan, in the Pakamata Government Hospital than Seranda the Indusuno. Either Yed Serandade, Yed Nalla the Yed Keta the Inbadai, you put an angular the Soli between Tamililum, other almost Vandudum. So Ninga, Ungulukula Bada Adelam, Ungulodi, a Kadithical, Yena in Badai Ningal Solomudima, Yed Seranda the Arasanga Murtu Marigala, Tanya Murtu Marigala, Arasanga Murtu Vergala, Tanya Murtu Vergala, Yar, Makalika, Adiya Savi Sakirakal. You speak in English. Sir, as per, uh, you know, not my concern, it is a general concern is a private uh, government, uh, government hospital is the best rather than the uh, private hospital because uh, which can only provide free uh, medical services with quality, with good uh, developed uh, uh, treatments and with the experts of doctors without any uh, uh, expectations and the doctors also they had uh, got from the uh, merit basis it means 
fully qualified people qualified people so that we can expect the more uh, services of uh, um, i mean hospital services from we can expect from pr government hospital only private hospital we cannot uh, get get it the, these uh, services and second uh, i like to tell these things the most of people is telling uh, uh, government hospital is uh, the service is very poor and uh, the government hospital is uh, very you know uh, that uh, they are saying uh, you know which is uh, unhygienic uh, place uh, i like to tell that uh, that people why which is uh, uh, unhygienic sir uh, the hospital is premises for under people can be uh, get the services usually but the uh, the uh, most of uh, you know more than 1000 people they approaching in in government hospitals in a um, in short term period so more people are gathering there uh, limit uh, more than the limited uh, people so that so that only uh, the reason is main that thing so second point is who is maintaining the hygienic the people those uh, approaching the services they are making the uh, unhygienic activities they are spitting anywhere everywhere and uh, they are throwing the, the uh, you know dust everywhere so all the uh, those who people those people is approaching they have to maintain their uh, you know disciplines uh, Okay, oh, one minute. You you want to add his views? Okay, let he add his views. So, how do you contradict his views? He say government hospital is the best. So, this person was saying his government hospital is the best. But myself, uh, my point I said private hospital is the best. Because why means there are a lot of technologies like X-ray, CT scans, a lot of technologies. If you want what kind of the problem in the parts of the body, so we must find for. It's better for private hospital. even though in government doctor also they have some private hospital some of the doctors because what is the purpose means money there are a lot of expert doctors are there but most of them are going for abroad countries so there is no contribute for the countries who are all this person no one wants their money the people who are living in this country so that's well not great as a more of the expertise so if you uh, if, if the uh, person like taken as a example reaching as uh, so was a superstar he was admitted in the ramachandra hospital ramachandra ramachandra hospital is not a government hospital it's a private hospital he gave given the treatment at the time th what they saying means we are not able to uh, treat for the reaching at the time they have some video co uh, conference there are some facilities but there is no facilities in government hospital so that video conference maybe is better for given the treatment for mr rajinikanth he is one of the famous sir, superstar what is your point sir one minute sir he says rajinikanth's uh, physical condition cannot be treated by government hospital only by private hospital that too only abroad is it true no sir why he had approached he went to of uh, abroad you know he is a populated person if you if you went to you know government hospital there will be uh, you know more the people will be gathered unnecessarily well there you can't get the treatment you will get the autograph you will approach for autograph only okay that's the reason he went to abroad uh, not the uh, reason of the uh, you know uh, services of the uh, hospital okay sir okay okay he I says see if he, if he comes to, uh, if he comes to uh, government hospital i i also will you know approach him i i'll, I'll try to get the autograph from okay, him okay he says uh, it will be a disturbance for mr rajinikanth if he is in the government hospital people will throng so what is your opinion ms uh, uh, private hospital is better or government hospital is better why you can speak in english or in your mother tongue also i think uh, private hospital is better private hospital is uh, get a higher amount but treatment is well uh they make a 
innovative treatment also. Excellent. Uh, innovative methodologies yes. they use uh, for getting the treatment. Uh, Okay, now our young lady, what is your point of view? What do you think, government hospital or private hospital, and why so? I think government hospital is better. Government hospital get a lot of people um, for treatment because they have no charge. Sometimes you get charged, but less. Okay, they charge less money. Uh, it is not money oriented. This is one to, uh, a point. Is. Okay, anybody want to add their view? Madam, what is your point? You can speak in your language also, mother tongue. What's your point? Government hospital best or tam, uh, private hospital best? Yeh din ingen ani keringa siranta dinte. Yeh, adh karnu cholunga. Government hospital best ani kero. Adh van anavasya mana test galla adh la irka dhanga. Irka adh adh onu. Or yehle yara andalum poor treatment erdh galla. Amma ambadai nu orla treatment idhu ma yenna noin kandedi kerege patayin bainja erai erdh. Ana idhe vande or வேறு ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் தனியார் ஹாஸ்பிட்டலாம் நம்ம போனோம்னா போன உடனே நமக்கு டெஸ்ட்டுக்கு தான் எழுதி கொடுக்குறாங்க அதுக்கப்புறம் தான் ட்ரீட்மெண்ட்டே ஆரம்பிக்கிறாங்க ஒன்று நகை வைக்கணும் சொத்த வைக்கணும் இதெல்லாம் ஒன்றும் செய்ய முடியாது கையில் சாதாரண ஆளுக்கு பண்ண முடியாது அதுக்கு ஸ்கேன் எடுக்க சின்ன பிளேடு கட்டானாலும் ஸ்கேன் எடுக்க சொல்லுவாங்க ஓகே உங்கள் கருத்து என்ன மேடம் நீங்கள் என்ன நினைக்கிறீங்க ப்ரைவேட்டாக கவர்மெண்ட்டாக ஏன்னா உங்கள் அப்பா அம்மா பார்த்துருப்பீங்க தாத்தா பாட்டி பார்த்துருப்பீங்க எந்த மாதிரி ஹாஸ்பிட்டலுக்கு போனால் நல்லது ப்ரைவேட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் இஸ் very best Why? it is um, any major treatment but uh, indian doctors are able at the at the time call for foreign expert doctors arranged by private hospital okay good for any but special uh, diseases which is uh, which has come so the private hospital they arrange some special doctors from abroad to come to India and take uh, to cure the disease. In fact, even Rajinikanth when he was admitted in Ramachandra, some specialist doctors have come from Japan, I believe so, and Singapore, I believe so. Even when Anadurai, the ex-chief minister was admitted in the hospital and a special doctor, I believe, from England has come. So that is one thing. But it doesn't hospital. do for government hospital. In government hospital, you don't have the birth. World class doctors are not there. So why, why so? What is your point of view on that? No, no, we can't say like that, ma'am. Because uh, in government hospital, uh, they are also providing the, uh, you know, IFID treatment. They are using nowadays, uh, the, you know, IFID, I technological, uh, you know, they are using the equipments nowadays. You can see, um, you, did you went to uh, Stalin hospital? You go and see the. The, there is available so many of uh, you know high tech equipments using uh, for the our uh, public treatments stanley hospital yes yeah, stanley okay. hospital it's a wonderful discussion we had uh, what is your what do you think as a government hospital or private hospital i think private uh, government hospital is best because uh, in private hospital uh, in private hospital uh, they get uh they get uh, uh mbbs uh by uh by the money and go uh, and government hospital the doctors are come with their minds and they get more marks for get the mbbs very good doctors are meritorious you mean to say they are they come with a genuine talents ninga enna nikringa id government hospital la private hospital some private hospital provide provide a medical insurance but um, go government hospital not provide uh, medical insurance medical insurance is not provided by government hospital but uh, but anyway it is uh, whether they pay insurance or whatever it is is free isn't it in, in medical government hospitals okay innor vishayam solla varumbaram பீப்புள் எதுக்கு ப்ரைவேட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் போகிறாங்கன்னா இப்போ கவர்மெண்ட் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் போனாக்கா அங்கே வந்து ஏன்னா நிறைய பேர் வருவாங்க இப்போ நூறு பேர் இப்போது ஒரு டைம் இருக்கு ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணுறாங்கன்னா எயிட் டு ஒரு லெவன் ஓ கிளாக் வரி இந்த என்ன சொல்லுவாங்க சார் ஓபி அவுட் பேஷண்ட் டைம்னு சொன்னாங்கன்னா அங்கே வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு நூறு பேர் தான் அந்த டைமில் போக முடியும் ஆக்சுவலாக பட் நம்ம மக்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு தௌசண்ட் பீப்புள் தே உட் அபின் கேதர்டு தேர் இதுதான் அதாவது நம்ம மக்கள் போன உடனே வந்து ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் பண்ணணும் அந்த எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷனோடு போகிறாங்க ஆனால் அது அங்கே முடியாது ஏன்னா நம்மள மாதிரி நிறைய பேர் வருவாங்க இல்லையா ஸோ அதனால தான் மக்கள் என்ன பண்ணுறாங்கன்னா ஈஸி ஆக்சஸ் 
on the speed axis they approaching for uh, private hospitals is uh, mean uh, very good the po- the the crowd there they uh, they cannot wait for such a long time in a government hospital because everybody are given equal opportunity so they come away because it's so crowded okay good so we had a wonderful discussion and thanks a lot